hi everyone welcome to the channel and uh, let's talk about one more real time issue today which is about asset accounting in sap s4 hana so this is the recent issue we have faced okay so we have this report some xyz report which is custom report okay basically what we see in this report we can see the period wise breakup right and the cumulative the first period which you see here this is the this is the column this column will show the cumulative amount of all the periods of current year you can see this is current year this is for year 2023 this is for this column is for year 2024 and then afterwards we will be having the columns period wise so this is for april which is first period may which is the second period okay so when user is executing this report his concern is that depreciation amount that shows in first period april that is just 4252 only which is very small amount because we have thousands of assets so this figure should be bigger so now let's find what has been uh, wrong with this uh, report or with the year end or month end activities okay so we we have done balance carry forward so this is the transaction code you know right fagl fagl okay fagal gvtr using this single transaction code we do balance carry forward in saps for hana right okay when we are executing this transaction code balance carry forward okay this was already done at the uh, year end but now now since balance is not reflecting here in the depreciation so i have doubt that there there may be something went wrong when they have done the balance carry forward so but there is no harm if we rerun the balance carry forward right so again we are executing this but this time we have to select this middle checkbox which is reset central balance carry forward and then you if you want you can select aggregated or detailed this is just how your output should be like you should get the detailed output or it should be like you know uh, with the minimum information aggregated and then first we will check definitely in the in the test run and then if you are satisfied with the output we will come back and remove the test run and we'll execute in the update run so now when we executed in the test run we found that there is so many GL accounts has values which needs to be carried forward if this would have been successful first time when user has done the balance carry forward we should have get here zero amount only right but now we are getting the amount so something might have done wrong by user okay so now then we went back and we removed the test run and we again executed FAGL GVTR okay balance carry forward basically this transaction code will do balance carry forward for all the GL accounts all your sub ledgers which is customer vendor and fix the set accounting the single transition code once we have done this then we need to rerun the depreciation right because uh, simply how system will update the depreciation if the depreciation is not calculated and not posted right as of now if you see the depreciation system shows as 4252 only so if you want to have it like exact value of the, of the uh, depreciation amount after the balance carry forward then we need to rerun the depreciation so in sap s4 hana this screen is more simplified this transition code is a f a b depreciation run all right so in this uh, we just have given the period one fiscal current fiscal year company code and there is nothing like repeat or uh, unplanned or nothing like this it is if you run this transition code for first time second time third time and so on the screen remains same only so we don't have to like decide like which you uh, know radio button i should select and all 
simply you just first execute in the test run and then in the update run so when we are executing the test run we found that there are so many assets for which depreciation has been calculated by system then we go back and remove the test run and again execute this uh, transition code AFAB with the background as usual right and now after finishing this activity when we now we see the this depreciation report okay this can be depreciation whatever the name of the report we are executing this report now we can see the depreciation amount for 2024 cumulative amount for the year and since this is the first period only so this amount and this amount will be same so now you can see in the april month we have quite bigger figure here 28 lakh 40 thousand 38 rupees right so this is how we have fixed this issue this is how we have identified so this is very much important in sap s4 hana when you are when you are doing the balance carry forward second time or maybe even like first time also you should select this checkbox okay reset central balance and carry forward i hope you learned something please do like share and subscribe okay this will uh, motivate me to bring more and more videos all right thank you so much please do like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video till then bye thank you